The movie begins with two men, Lu Xin Li and Kai Jin, arriving at a nightclub in Bangkok, Thailand. They're on a mission to find the person who murdered their friend, Jenny. Before her death, Jenny left behind a valuable gemstone, which serves as a clue for Kai and Xin Li. Inside the club, they encounter their colleague, Tommy Wa, who's also investigating Jenny's murder. As Jenny's brother, Tommy interrogates a performer to gather information about her killer. However, the performer tries to poison Tommy. Fortunately, he discovers this, and they engage in a fight until Tommy manages to subdue her using his Wu Assassin supernatural powers. Meanwhile, Kai and Xin Li discover a Zheng Si, a Chinese vampire, feeding on the club's patrons. The Zheng Si controls several people, triggering a fight between Kai, Xin Li, and those under its influence. Just as the Zheng Si is about to attack Kai, with Xin Li's assistance, Kai uses his Wu Assassin powers to defeat and destroy the Zheng Si. The following day, Kai, Xin Li, and Tommy head to a temple to meet William Pun, a renowned biotech billionaire. William shares a tale about Pun Gu, an ancient god with Wu Assassin powers who sought dominion over humanity. He reveals that he and his sister, Ku An Ki, are descendants of Pun Gu and created as Yin and Yang, causing them to never be aligned in their duties as Wu Assassin hunters. Un Ki, now the leader of Thailand's largest mafia, poses a challenge as she holds crucial information about Jenny's murder. William warns them about the complexities of dealing with his sister due to their intertwined destinies. Armed with this knowledge, Kai and his companions devise a plan to capture Un Ki during her meeting with the mafia at a heavily guarded hotel. Tommy suggests seeking assistance from a local acquaintance to navigate past the hotel's security undetected. On another day, the trio meets Tommy's friend, Priya. Tommy asks for her help in gaining access to a hotel, but she initially refuses, fearing the risks involved. However, upon learning about Jenny's death and being deeply affected by the loss of her friend, Priya decides to assist Tommy and the others. On the day of their mission, Tommy and Priya cause a commotion at the hotel entrance, diverting the attention of security guards and allowing Kai and Xin Li to slip past unnoticed. As Kai and Xin Li infiltrate the hotel, they spot Un Ki entering a room where the mafia leaders are gathered. After closing the door to the room, Un Ki swiftly slaughters all the mafia bosses to become the sole mafia ruler in Thailand. With her power, she also makes the trusted associates of the deceased mafia leaders her submissive followers. While Tommy and Priya are still held by hotel security, they overpower the officers to join Kai and Xin Li. Outside, Thai District Intelligence Chief Zama Zulu monitors the situation as she is assigned to investigate Un Ki's movements, suspected of planning criminal activities in the hotel. When she sees something suspicious, Zama rushes into the hotel. Meanwhile, Kai and Xin Li, who are searching for Un Ki, are surprised to find several corpses of the Thai Mafia leaders killed by Un Ki. Just before they are about to leave, Zama enters the room, pointing her firearm at them and accusing them of being the murderers of the Mafia bosses. Kai and Xin Li try to explain, but Zama insists they accompany her to the police station for interrogation. Shortly after, Tommy and Priya clarify the situation resulting in Kai and Xin Li being cleared of Zama's accusations. At the same time, Un Ki is seen successfully leaving the hotel, while Kai and the others must face the hotel residents who are now controlled by Un Ki. A battle ensues and the five of them eventually decide to scatter so they can more effectively confront the people under Un Ki's control. Kai, who is currently on the upper floor, is seen facing one of Un Ki's associates named Zan Hui who is assigned to capture Kai. In the parking lot, Xin Li and Priya use their car to escape from Un Ki's henchman's attack until they see Tommy and Zama trapped inside the hotel and attempting to break the glass. Xin Li immediately crashes his car into the hotel's glass to rescue them. Just as the four of them are about to leave the hotel, they are surprised to see Kai suddenly fall into the pool in front of the hotel after he loses to Zan. His four companions then help Kai before they all finally get into a van and leave the hotel area. As they flee, Kai and his friends are pursued by Unki's henchmen in two cars. 
The henchmen surround their van and open fire, causing chaos inside. Despite the onslaught, Kai and his friends fight back through holes in the van's walls. But when a gas canister explodes, the van overturns. Thankfully, they survive and quickly get out of the van and fight with all of Unki's henchmen. After they win the fight, Kai and the others decide to leave the city by boat because the land routes are likely blocked by Unki and her henchmen. Although they face resistance from Unki's henchmen's boats, but with good cooperation, the five of them manage to defeat Unki's henchmen. After a long journey by water, they reach a remote village, which is Priya's childhood home village. To enter, they pass through a gate inscribed with a protective spell that prevents anyone with malicious intent from entering the village. They're warmly greeted by Priya's uncle, Cheo, who has taken care of her since her parents passed away. When Chao chats with Kai, he is impressed by the Wu assassin power that Kai possesses, so Chiyo gives Kai a protective bracelet. That evening, Chiyo invited Kai and the others for dinner. During the meal, Chao warned them about William, emphasizing his cunning nature and alliance with Unki, as they shared a common goal to resurrect Pungu, a powerful figure. Chao also told them about the events at the hotel, which were part of William's trap to capture Kai. He explained that if Kay's Wu assassin powers combined with Jenny's gemstone, it could revive Pungu. Tommy displayed the gemstone, realizing its importance in preventing it from falling into William and Unki's hands. As midnight neared, Priya received a mysterious message promising to resurrect her deceased family if she followed instructions. Upon reaching the area of the gate, she entered her subconscious mind, allowing her to meet her deceased family and also William and Unki, who promised to revive her family if she combined the gemstone with Kai's Kai. Upon awakening, Priya felt hopeful but was unaware of the manipulation. Believing the promise, she removed the protective spell from the village gate, allowing Unki's henchmen to enter. Shortly after, Priya betrayed her friends, attempting to combine Tommy's gemstone with Kai's Kai. However, Kai woke up just in time to foil the plan. Meanwhile, Unki's henchmen attacked Kai's friends, leading to a fierce battle. Sin Li got injured but was saved by Cheo. Realizing they were outnumbered, Kai, Sin Li, Tommy, and Zama decided to flee the village by car. Chao sacrificed himself trying to hold back Unki's henchmen from pursuing them. Days later, Kai and his companions learned of William and Unki's plan to resurrect Pungu. They rushed to an archaeological site guarded by Unki's henchmen. Using gas canisters, they incapacitated the guards. At that moment, Kai also had to face Zan again, who had defeated him previously, while Sin Li fought William's top henchmen. Tommy and Zama confronted Unki, defeating her. However, Priya, considered a traitor, confessed her mistake and apologized. Tommy, understanding her, chose to forgive her. Surprisingly, Unki returned with her powers. Tommy, Zama, and Priya had to fight her again until the three of them managed to kill and destroy Unki's soul. As Kai continued his struggle against Zan, he eventually defeated his longtime adversary using his Wu assassin powers. However, Sin Li faced defeat as his opponent absorbed all his tuni, turning him into one of William's henchmen. Meanwhile, Kai entered the archaeological site just as Pungu was about to be resurrected, witnessing Sin Li's plight. William successfully combined the gemstone with Kai's tuni, bringing Pungu back to life. Approaching Sin Li, Kai was attacked by his friend, now under Pungu's control. Reluctantly, Kai fought Sin Li while trying to free him from Pungu's influence. Using his Wu assassin abilities, Kai managed to free Sin Li, who was being pulled back into the pit by Pungu. Kai pursued Pungu into the hole, where they engaged in a fierce battle. When Kai was almost defeated, Sin Li joined the fight, and together they defeated Pungu, preventing him from destroying the world. Meanwhile, Tommy and his two companions assisted Kai and Sin Li in ascending before the hole closed completely. In the film's conclusion, Kai and his friends celebrate their victory on the beach after successfully avenging Jenny's death. Moral lesson from the story, when hunting vampires or dealing with ancient gods, never forget to pack your garlic and a sturdy umbrella. You never know when you'll need to fight supernatural forces and sudden rain showers.